Fielding some questions here for U.S. Simile. I have a student who's DM'd me about what are some don'ts? What are some things that he should avoid in the week to two weeks prior to his U.S. Simile? I've made prior YouTube clips talking about this before, okay? Essentially, what are three important don'ts? What are three things you should not do in the one, two weeks prior to U.S. Simile where if you don't do those things, you'll see an increase in your score, Okay give you a very fucking clean and consolidated answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So as I just fucking prefaced with students asking about things you should not do in the lead up to his US simile, I can give you a very consolidated answer here with three don'ts. The first is, I don't want you doing UWorld QBank up into your actual exam. We'll get some students very emotional when we talk about uh, modulation of one's UWorld prep, okay? People don't like modifying uh, how they're going through UWorld, but it's a bad fucking idea doing UWorld up into the exam. I'm not talking about UWSAs necessarily. I don't advise doing UWSAs, okay? I advise doing all the NBME content. I'll elaborate on that in a second. So there is a time and place occasionally for a student doing a UWSA late, but we're talking about QBank, UWorld QBank up into your actual exam. Bad fucking idea, and it's a mistake that some students make where they'll be EG six days out and they're still doing UWorld questions, okay? Even review of UWorld, you should be done with UWorld, I would say, no fucking closer than three weeks to your exam max, okay? I generally reserve the final month for doing just purely NBME, which is the segue into the second point, a mistake as in a don't, okay? Don't neglect all of the NBME content. So for step one, I want you memorizing NBMEs 20 through 30 as well as free 120. You're gonna do 20 through 24 offline, free 120, 25 through 30. I give students about two days per NBME exam on average. Obviously, if you're scoring higher, you can get everything done, including the review with in one day. I've made tons of clips here on my YouTube. If you just search as far as how to go through the NBME exams, that whole process uh, more in detail. But for step one, 20, 30, and free 120, make sure you get through all that. For step two, I want you to get through not only NBME six through 12, okay? So you have offline six through eight, online nine through 12. Not only are you gonna go through all those NBMEs free 120, but I want you doing all 44 clinical mastery series forms, 50 questions performed, that's 2,200 questions, essentially half a QBank at this point. You're gonna do the CMS forms twice. You need to do all that fucking NBME content for both steps. Big fucking mistake, not going through all the NBME content. Your final three weeks to a month for both steps should be pretty much just all NBME content, okay? Yes, you can supplement with my PDFs in the evenings, okay? but the bulk of your day needs to be assiduously reviewing the NBME content. And the third point, and this is a bit of a softer one, is don't allow yourself to not take breaks. It should not be a scenario where you're spending 14, 15 hours per day in a bunker and you're taking no breaks because you're hyper gunner, even if you're going for the 280 on the numerical step two. You need to allow yourself, go to the gym for 90 minutes, okay? Have a meal with family, housemates, okay? Take a break, prevents burnout, and I want you to get a lot of sleep, okay? Get eight hours of sleep per night if that's possible. Don't take naps during the day. Just study straight through the day very efficiently, but make sure you're sleeping, okay? Very important. So uh, in short, uh, recapitulation here in terms of three don'ts in the final one to two weeks. Number one, don't do your up into your exam. Big fucking mistake. UWSA is just a time and place, long discussion. I made prior clips on this. If you just search Melman UWSA, tons of clips, I've talked about it. Number two, don't neglect the NBME content. You're gonna do NBMEs 20 through 30 for step one and free 120. For TCK, you're gonna do six through 12, free 120, as well as all 44 clinical mastery series forms. And the third is don't allow yourself to not take breaks, okay? You should be able to go to the gym, have a meal with family or housemates in the final week. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.